I'm Dr. Ann Pawlewski, a professor of math um, here at Harris Stowe State University. I didn't grow up in St. Louis, but I was a graduate student at Washington University, which is here in St. Louis. I had been working as a statistical data analyst for the medical school at Washington University, doing a lot of adjunct teaching both at Washington U and other places. And the grant that was paying for me was running out, and I thought, oh, what I really wanted to do is teach. And I'm going to go for my big dream of professor at a college. So I opened the phone book. This was in the days when they had phone books. And looked under schools and found Harris Stowe, among others. Called them up, said, do you need a math teacher? And they said, yes. Sent in a resume. And 25 years later, here I am. I'd done a lot of teaching in a lot of different places, adjunct. and. I found Harris Stowe was kind of the best of them all for me. One of the things I really like about the small class sizes that we have here is the way a class can bond together, the way the students can learn from each other. Um, that I feel like a coach of a team and that the class is the team and we're all working together to learn and I think that that helps the students more. I think that it's not about me just lecturing and them taking notes and going home and working on it, but it's the whole process of learning. And I've seen that more at Harris Stowe than some of the other places I've been. I think the small class sizes contribute to that. The fact that with the small class sizes, I'm able to assess each student and what would really help them. And configure the way I'm explaining something to what a student will relate to them. And they also work really well together. We've built up a great sense of community in the math department here, in the math classes. And since Harris Stowe is such a small school, that really extends to the whole school. After I was here for several years, I realized that it would be great to have something to recognize our math students in terms of some kind of honor society or recognition. Uh, so I looked into that and found that um, a math honor society called Kappa Mu Epsilon is just perfect for four-year universities, teaching universities, and looked into that process. Um, it turned out that in order to get a chapter approved, we um, needed a math club. The math club has evolved into whatever the students need. Um, years ago, we sort of introduced them to our department and what courses would be good for them to take. We brought in special outside speakers to talk about um, careers in math or other math opportunities and other things that the math club did were presentations that would be helpful for ideas for them as future teachers that they could use in their classroom. And it was a very open to the entire university community. So we would get people that would come just hearing about what we're doing in math. We, of course, always served refreshments. Um, that's kind of evolved over the years after we got a math degree program to um, open study sessions where the math faculty all bring in snacks and just get a room and welcome anybody that wants to come in. Um, they help each other in math, which really helps them learn it. We walk around and help them or chat with them about career plans or graduate school plans. Despite what people think about math, it's not really what you think it is. It's actually a lot more creative than someone might think. Math is underlying everything. It's behind what you're doing in business. It's behind uh, computer games. It's behind just making decisions about a lot of things. Decision making, operations research, people trying to analyze what's the best way to do something. You really need mathematics. You need the, the thinking process behind it. And it's also a lot more creative than people think. I, I think one of the fields that's big now, which is my love, is statistics. And you can use, one of the things I like about statistics a lot is that you use it in so many different fields. So you need to learn something about that field, something about math and statistics and put it together. It's also a slightly rarer skill to have a math degree, to have that kind of thought process. 
There's so much data out there now. Because there's so much data, everyone can collect a lot of data, but they don't know how to draw conclusions from it, how to present it, to make sense to someone, and that's really where mathematics comes in. So it's very marketable. You need someone with the analytic skills that come with a mathematics degree to be able to make sense of the data. I am Dr. Ann Podleski and I am HSSU.